Hey guys, we're back here with uh, Ali and Hayden. Sorry, I like looked at my cheat notes for it real quick. But you guys are here from the uh, Watchins Children's Shelter, and you're here to talk about Bike for Shelter. We are. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Hi again. So let's talk about Bike for Shelter. You guys do this annually, and what is Bike for Shelter for those of uh, those at home who don't know what Bike for Shelter is? Yeah. So Bike for Shelter um, is a big family-friendly event. Something there for everybody. We do an 11-mile bike ride and a two-mile bike ride for little kids. Um, and there's so much there to do. There's pony rides, we've got snow cones, cotton candy, bounce houses. Face painting uh, is always really face popular. Painting. Uh, Montana Rail Link puts on a huge barbecue every year for us. Um, so there's something there for everybody. It's really fun. Music. Yeah, music. We'll have a DJ. It's cool. awesome. Yeah. Cool. And where is it um, specifically located? Where's the starting point? Oh yeah, so uh, community medical parking lot um, right across from our fort shelter, which is the really cool part about it. You'll be riding from one of our houses um, all the way to our second house on Buckhouse Lane. Cool. So you'll start in the community medical parking lot. And you said that um, also before the interview, you also mentioned that there's going to be like a barbecue, like there's going to be food and everything. Yep, at the event, Montana Rail Link will do a big barbecue for everybody. So they'll do the ride, everybody gets back around 11-ish, and then all the festivities will be started, and Montana Rail Link will start cooking everything. Cool. Yep. And uh, you have a, plenty of sponsors. Like, let's just take a look at your yeah. shirt. You're just kind of showing off. It's like, you got, <laughs> you have like, See so many different shirts. Yeah, uh, our premier sponsor, um, as Hayden already mentioned, is Montana mm -hmm. Rail Link, and then Pepsi comes out, Cherry Creek Media, Media, Blackfoot Telecommunications, Diversified Plastics, and KP. Wow. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of. We're support. very, we're very lucky. And Montana Rail Rail Link has been there from the very beginning. They have. They've really been a big supporter of the shelter and the kids at the shelter, and we're. We're very thankful. In fact, the entire community has been very supportive of the shelter. And for those of you out there that don't know that we do, um, Watson Children's Shelter is an emergency shelter for children who have been removed from the home due to abuse or neglect. And we're unfortunately seeing uh, an increase of child abuse and neglect across the state and here in Missoula and Western Montana. So the need for our services is more important than ever. And this is one of our major fundraisers, so we really encourage people to come out, support the event, support the kids, and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was uh, watching uh, uh, some city council not too long ago, and they were mm -hmm. mentioning uh, that um, domestic. Uh, there have been a lot more domestic calls in, to 911. That's like the mm -hmm. highest thing in Missoula's domestic violence calls. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine. And so it's always good to have a place like Washington Children's Shelter to help kids who uh, need a temporary housing. Yeah, it's very true. So uh, tell us the um, kind of uh, like uh, the importance of Watson Children's Shelter for the community in the community. Well, we're one of um, three emergency shelters of our type in the state, and we're the only emergency shelter in Western Montana. We have 24 kids in our care um, at any one time, and pretty much we've been at capacity for the most part of going on about four years. So. Um, if, if Watson Children's Shelter wasn't around, then police and social workers would have to place children in other places that may not be right. appropriate. But um, we're fortunate Watson has been around for about 40 years at this point, and uh, we're very lucky that we have the shelter in our community. Yeah. And this, uh, this event that's coming up, um, can you tell us a little bit uh, more about this event, when, where, and where people can get more information? Oh, yes. Gosh, we shouldn't forget that. <laughs> I'm coming up on Saturday, May 13th, so it's a week from tomorrow, uh, out at Community Medical Center, as Hayden mentioned. You can register online until May 10th and get a little discount there. Um, otherwise, you can shop on the day of the event again, May 13th, out at Community Medical Center. Registration starts at 8 a.m., and the 11 mile bike ride starts at 9.30, then the festivities go to about one o'clock. Cool, and so we're looking at your website right now. Is there anything that you wanna highlight on your website? Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe if someone doesn't know how to get to, um, if they wanna learn more about the event, if you click special events right there, and then click bike for shelter, uh, right there um, at the top, there'll be, um, Home, Links register to. to do everything. You can view all our sponsors. A uh, raisin ride is a really cool thing that people can do. A raisin ride. Yeah. So if they want to <laughs> participate in the event, they can. If they want to, and they want to help the shelter at the same time, they can raise one hundred and fifty dollars, win um, a really cool custom hoodie, um, and then 
Um, they got they that get we can see the hood. Maybe we yeah, can the hoodie's see the hoodie. really cool. We went with Grizz colors this year. Oh, what, what, if you what click on at? that link, it'll take you. Which Raisin link? Ride. Click that right there. Yeah. Raisin Ride. Yeah, perfect. And oh. then if you click the hoodie itself, you can zoom in and see. It's pretty cool. Um, oh. Yeah, the front's got a. There. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, our intern designed <laughs> it this year. She did a great job. Um, but yeah, so Raisin Ride's a cool way for you to help the shelter and then also have fun. So you raise $150 or more, and then you get to come to the event for free and get a cool hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. So you have lots of merch. You got lots of uh, fun activities for yep. a lot of kids and families to yep. come on down to help support the Washington Children's Shelter. It's going to be at Community Medical next Saturday. Yeah. Is, uh, One more thing before I forget. We are still looking for volunteers for the yes. event. And there is a link on the website as well for volunteers. We're looking for some people to help out on the bike route. Uh, pretty simple, a couple hours of your time on Saturday morning. So if you, if you can't, or if you don't want to participate in the bike ride, but like to help us out, we would uh, really appreciate volunteers. Yeah, that'd Great. be awesome. Well, is there anything else you guys want to say? I think that's about it. We Thank got it you. All. Thanks, Thank you Scott. for having us. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Once again, um, Community Medical will be hosting uh, Bike for Shelter by the Washington's Children's Shelter next Saturday, May 13th. 13th. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. I You're really welcome. Yeah.